Hello, this is Chris Taylor from TaylorMade RF, and I want to show you today an SPS1 working with the new SDR Puck. There we got base station running quite happily with an original SPS1. Must be eight years old now, and I want to add to it the SDR Puck. So set that in the new software, base station 184. Shows you I'm connected to an SPS1. I've just connected the puck. If I now go into the built-in SDR button has appeared and the control panel. Here I've got the local ACARS frequencies. And um, if I want to monitor ACARS, let's have a look and see what we've got. If I first of all just open up a telnet session, for those that know what that is, 127.0.0.1, and the data comes out, ACARS comes out on port 3 treble 08. There's a few applications that uh, run with our ACARS port and uh, I'll, uh, I'll run through one of those in a moment. So there we are, we've got ACARS, oh, I can't expand the command window, hang on a minute. There we are, yeah, so we've got ACARS coming, if you look you've got the date, the time, and you've got uh, the frequency it was on, and then you've got registration, and you've got various other bits of ACARS data. But if you want to make a bit more sense of that, then you need uh, something to decode it for you. And if we go here, on rstools.info, there's a Maximus Mike's Utilities. If we go to download, then the program to download is just here. Download the full version of Display Launcher, and away you go. So we'll download, download that. Now while that's downloading, the new SDR Puck um, will work with Base Station and coexist with an SPS1 or 1E or 1ER. Um, it probably coexists with an SPS3 quite why it needs three radio receivers, I don't know, but why not? Um, and I'm, I'm going to set this one up just to decode A cars at the moment, uh, just so you can see what additional uh, plotting you can get from A cars. So let's just uh, see how the download's going. Open the folder. If I remember how to do it. Right, there we are. Just let that uh, download away. The other things that the uh, the SDR puck can do is listen to audio, and I'll be doing another video with that. Decode AIS, and uh, we'll incorporate other decoding as time goes by. Um, as of you that have got an SPS3 will know that we've done many, many significant updates, and we'll do the same for the pucks as we have for the SPS3. So let's just uh, get this program that I've downloaded. Oh, we'll find it in a moment. Da, 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 da. Bear with me, folks. Don't go away. It's here or somewhere. This is the problem with recording live. Ah, and there it is. Display launcher. So we'll extract that. Okay. If we now go to the display launcher file, there's the SPS3 ACAST display XE. Um, just run it up. And away we go. Click on connect and it connects to the Port 3 treble 0, sorry, no, it doesn't, the Port 3 treble 8 data. That's right, Port 3 treble 8 data coming from base station. And then you've got to choose where you want to get your pictures from. I've chosen the Flight Radar 24 route, and you'll see why. If we just click on an aircraft, then that aircraft will come up. Here we are. It's American Airlines, and give it a moment to uh, work out where it is. Sorry, my internet's not very quick. And there we go. Let's go from Heathrow to Dallas. And uh, you can do that with any of the aircraft that have been decoded by the software. You'll see slowly that you can build up a uh, database of route information from A cars as well. So it's useful to know where they're going from too. There's another one. Sometimes you'll, uh, you'll have an aircraft, and it looks like this one might be, that's outside the scope of my home location that I've got set as default for uh, Flight Radar 24. So all you have to do 
let's just click and zoom me out and there we are it's a bit further north uh, with the conditions the way they are at the moment you're getting some uh, some good range on VHF and that will affect what you see so there we are let's just close that down we've now got an old original SPS one quite happily decoding with uh, with a cars so just our usual SPS one data works as per normal and there's our control panel sat there quite happily with the SDR so there we are that's the uh, new SDR puck working with an old original SPS one in base station and the two of them running through the same program one of them decoding a cars and one of them decoding ADSB. So uh, check back the videos regularly. I'll be doing some more over the Christmas period and putting up uh, videos to how, show you how to set up the audio on the SPS3 and on the SDR puck. And I'll be showing you a few bits and pieces you can do with the uh, 1090 puck and the SDR puck together. So uh, if you're watching this before Christmas, have a good one. If you're watching it after Christmas, come and see me. And, Santa disappointed you. Cheers for now.